Greetings. I'm just here after the ants. Hanging out in the Klarna unit of the John Day fossil beds. Just doing a little exploring amongst the palisades. Thought I'd take you along as we kind of see some stuff for the first time. It's always fun. I want to watch out for some of these rock shoots. They really uh, shoot down. Apparently this uh, ridge, top center frame, is an old volcano that spewed out a massive lahar and everything that came this way towards the north. Hot up all sorts of boulders and mud and interesting stuff. Logs. So all that stuff is trapped in all this volcanic stuff. It's really fascinating geology, all mixed up. Some places there's boulders perched and spires, and there's pinnacles and looking out towards the John Day River, the actual community of Clarno. Most people come to the fossil beds down farther south for the painted hills. Now, oh wow, and that sort of thing. Look at these palisades out here. Wow. That's awesome. This is magnificent up here. My goodness. Painted hills are much more popular. Most people don't uh, come up here. The parking lot's not very big, so they're not expecting crowds. But let's take a quick peek over this way. Let's see, there's a little bit of a trail where people have gone. It's not exactly the wilderness, but it's still an incredible part of the story of the wilds. My sound really carries. There's a chainsaw running somewhere way out there. It's old, uh, apparently an abandoned ranch below us here. This is really, really interesting. Wow. You can see the parking area way down there. more large boulders. Look at these things just sort of perched here. Another one kind of off in the distance there. My goodness. Let's just go a little bit farther. It is supposed to get a little wet this evening so we certainly don't want to get stuck up here anyway. So we're going to try to make some time. Just get one more peek down in this valley here. Uh, an arch. Oh, wow, there's a little arch right there. The Clarno Arch is farther back. Most people see it and photograph it. But there's a little one right here. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, take another peek over the top. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this little area in here. This is really, really amazing. I'm so glad I've brought you along and I'm so glad you've joined us. Sure pays to watch the video all the way through, that's for sure. Just never know what you're gonna miss. Cause I didn't know what I would have missed if I hadn't, uh, look at that art, that gap. I would not have gotten to see that, that's amazing. You can see the slot just goes straight down, all the way down to right here right between my feet. That's amazing. This is really, really spectacular. Obviously stay on the trail. This is definitely not something everybody should just go running up and doing. This is just spectacular. Since we're coming up here, so you don't have to. You should definitely uh, look at, it's like a mushroom. We've got to take a quick look at this. Yep, the video's running a bit long. But look at this thing. It's like a mushroom or a hammer. It's the kind of things that people always call Thor's hammer. I think it looks more like Thor's mushroom. Uh, no innuendo intended, naturally. This is just magnificent. If anybody knows what this is called, post it in the comments. Definitely like to know. 
They don't tell us these sorts of things on the signs, especially because you really can't see this from the trail. Look at this thing. Look at this huge column balanced on top of an even narrower column. That is, I have no words. I have no words, people. This is magnificent. Aren't you glad you watched the whole video? My goodness. This thing is cool here. The mushroom. Huh. Wow. Easily 20 feet tall from its farthest point down there below. That is just, man, it's cracked right there. Like it's going to fall down. So this may be something not everybody could get to see for all that much longer. But I think that is more than enough for today. Especially when we've got a ways to go back to the car. But I definitely want to thank you so much for joining us after the ants up here in the John Day fossil beds in the Clarno unit. It's worth every minute. Goodness. <laughs>